So coach Larry Izzo, special teams coordinator here with Candy Waller from Bowie Television. Um, coach Izzo, well, welcome to the DMV. Thank you. Um, and so how excited are you to be here? I'm super excited. This is awesome. It's an amazing opportunity to come here uh, with an amazing coaching staff, uh, working for Coach Quinn. Um, I can't uh, emphasize how, how exciting it is for us right now as coaches as we get 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 started on this offseason and, and start getting you know getting ready for the for the next year obviously uh this this franchise is uh is a special franchise in this league i actually used to live here back in uh the 80s when uh redskins were winning super bowls so mm -hmm. I, I know exactly what the expectations are from the fan standpoint and hopefully we can uh, get that done and meet that Awesome. So can you share from your perspective, what are some of those key aspects of a, su of a successful special teams unit? Well, our job is to control field position and then control the momentum. So mm -hmm. every time, you know, we get an opportunity to go on the field, we want to impact the game in a positive way for our team. And so uh, there's obviously there's six different units uh, that consist of special teams. We're going to use the whole roster, you know, uh, Obviously, a lot of guys are going to play a lot of roles. Um, the better units are the units that you know get value from everybody. And so, like I said, though, when we go out on the field, we want to have a good play, and that comes down to guys executing their jobs, playing fast, playing physical, playing our play style, and controlling the field position in the way that we want to control it, which will help us control the momentum and the juice and the energy and really complement what the offense and defense is trying to do out there as well. You want to just be a strength for your team. And uh, we, we're here to serve the team basically with our special teams. Needs. So when you talk about that juice and that um, controlling the field position, what is it that you're looking for in your returner? That is a position that sometimes has been up and down for the commanders in recent years. So what are some of those key aspects you're looking for in your return? Uh, fast, speed. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for guys that uh, are explosive. You know, we want to be explosive with the return game. Um, mm -hmm. and so you got to have a guy back there with some juice that can get, you know, that can hit it and find the crease and then uh, make some people miss and then, you know, finish with some home run speed. So those are qualities that we're looking for in returners. But we also got to, you know, we got to block for the returner too. So we're looking for guys that are going to go out and execute their jobs, play with good, clean technique in the return game so that the returner can trust. Uh, you know what, what's out there with him, and then he can do his job, which is to get to the end zone. That's what we're trying to do every time we go. Every time we go out on the field with our return game, we're trying to score. So you just mentioned that you lived here back in the '80s. So you know the fan base oh, yeah. and all of the intensity around um, Washington teams overall, but especially the football team. Do you have any fond memories or anything you just know about this fan base with that kind of dictates how you're going to be making sure you make this unit is ready to go? Well, it's just real. It's, it's really cool to be back here. Like I said, I, I spent eight, eighth, ninth, and 10th grade here. I went to Broad Run High School, which is mm -hmm. right down the road. Uh, it really helped shape me as a player, you know, the, the early years of my football career, uh, the coaching that I received from the great coaches there at Broad Run. And so um, as a whole, though, I, I remember 1987, you know, when they won the Super Bowl, you know, against the Broncos. I was a, I was a Redskin fan at the time. I was in eighth grade. Uh, one of the first guys I met here was Doug Williams when I come into the facility. So it was like just a really cool, surreal experience to be here uh, back back in this area with with this franchise that has been historically a, a great franchise and the passion that the fans here I, I went to a game in 1989 and RFK and the stadium was rocking and I so I know what the potential is here and so I'm excited to, to help provide that excitement and hopefully win a lot of football games mm -hmm. and some of that excitement that you speak of we've heard managing partner Josh Harris talk about it along as well as some of his um, limited partners and with the organization as well so what do you think about them so far and the direction they have for the organization uh, well 100% uh, you know class acts in terms of the leadership that we have here from top to bottom uh, this organization has been uh, it's, I've only been here a week but I can see uh, we're moving in the right direction mm -hmm. uh, and it starts at the top Thank you so much for your time.